Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out this Presto Eversharp electric knife sharpener. Let's see if it really works. Okay guys, so we got this a couple weeks ago at a garage sale. Down at the end of our street there's um they have storage units down there and they always have not always but whenever they feel like it. Anyway they, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. We always go down there, always pick something up. Uh, they had five dollars on this. I bought four or five things or three or four things and I just bundled them together so I really don't know what I gave for this but it wouldn't have been much um, so this like I said this is a Presto Eversharp electric knife sharpener this is an older one um, they still make these but they're just a little different they're kind of rounded you know more spaceship looking this is a two stage they also have a three stage out now what it is is you got a coarse and a fine in this one and each one there's four slots each one does a different side of the blade so you run it through so many times on that one and then that one then you'll come over here it's kind of like a finish stone in there it does work I have plugged it in but I don't know if it works how good it will work to um, to sharpen a knife um, Move these plugs to clean. It's got these suction cups on the bottom. Yeah, it was working real good a minute ago, but yeah, they uh, they work pretty good. But uh, this one is the model zero eight eight zero 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 one. Uh, looking for a date on it made in China there is a patent number on it but I do not see a date I may find one later but like I said right now I'm not seeing a date on it so I don't know it's 11 at 11 amps household use only but yes yeah, so what you do is you plug it in you turn it on and you'll drag your knives through here and it's supposed to automatically have an edge now I know this knife is dull and I'll show you here in a minute I am not going to cut paper with this thing that doesn't tell me anything I'm going to use it in a real world real life scenario which is cutting a tomato that's how I always know when a knife is dull when I'm cutting a damn tomato uh, so I got a couple tomatoes we're going to do it before I have not sharpened this knife in a while I usually use my crop stick you know just one of those whoosh, whoosh, whoosh things and it does pretty well but like I said I this is just a farberware knife so we'll see if it can put an edge on it too it's just a you know farberware is kind of cheap but they do have some good stuff but this knife you know I use a lot and like I say when I go to cut a tomato I know I know if it's sharp or not. I don't need a piece of paper to tell me that a pair of scissors, a pair of kid scissors can cut paper. So that doesn't impress me. So we're going to put it to uh, use in a real world scenario. I'm going to cut up a tomato and we'll see how it does and then we're going to sharpen the knife with this and then we're going to cut it again. So stick around. <laughs> stick around and let's uh, let's check this knife out and check the dullness I don't have a sharpness tester I don't I don't need one um, like I said I'm just going to put it into a real world scenario so let's check this thing out okay guys so we've got a couple tomatoes here we're going to use this one for before we sharpen the knife also have a uh, an onion here so monkey made a big salad so when I get done cutting this up, if I don't eat it all, I'll just put the rest in the salad. But anyway, let's see how dull this thing is. Like I said, I haven't sharpened it in a while on purpose. Usually every time I pick this up, I give it a couple scrapes across my uh, crop stick. And 
Yeah, that's um, that's pretty dull. I can feel it. It doesn't, you know, it's it's ripping there, and it's kind of it's kind of squeezing down. That's why they say it's a dull knife that'll cut you. Um, you know, because you got to work harder and it could slip easier. So, all right. So there's that. Okay, now let's, um, let's cut this onion in half here. Actually, for a dull knife, it's not super bad I, I've had worse uh, this is just a glass um, cutting board here so they say you shouldn't use glass cutting boards it dulls your knives um, I don't know if that's true or not okay so yeah it's kind of ripping it it's not really cutting it, you know what I mean? So. Alright, now we're going to move this out of the way. We're going to get the knife sharpener over here. And we're going to sharpen this knife. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it around here. I'm going to run this knife. Well, first I gotta wipe it off, then I'm gonna run it through here. Uh, let me get a paper towel. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run it through. Let's go with, um, I know this knife's pretty dull, but let's start with, and the similar one, I couldn't find the instructions per, for this particular one, but I did find the newer two-stage one, and all they tell you is just run it through a couple times. But, you know, I mean, you're gonna wanna do it evenly each time or on each one you know what I mean so like if I do five here I'm going to do five there five five but I think what I'm going to do I'm going to do ten times in each one and I'm going to speed you up while I do this see it's not super loud but it will be once I go to sharpening like it put a nice edge on it um yeah, it feels pretty sharp let's uh let's try it on the tomato again whoa <laughs> I was not expecting that Wow. Oh yeah, does this thing work? Yes, it does. I remember growing up, I'm not good at cutting tomatoes, guys, so I can't go real paper thin. That's not the knife, that's me. Uh, we have one of those old electric can openers, big bulky thing, and you push the handle down and held the handle, it was really loud. Well, in the back of it, it had a knife sharpener. And uh, I remember using that quite a bit, but let's see if I can go thin. I'm not, like I said, I, I'm not. Wow, that is super sharp. Like I said, I went 10 times. Oh my goodness, amazing. Now I still have my copper knife, the one that never needs sharpened. I've never sharpened it, but sometimes it's just too short you know too short for what I need wow this is holy crap this is amazing guys I, I, I can't get over how well 
this thing is doing. It's, it's unreal, man. I've seen guys fillet a tomato, but I, I can never do that. But I, I wouldn't have been able to do that before, that's for sure. I mean, I'm telling you what, this thing is sharp. Right through the center of that tomato. And like I said, this, I mean... This thing is amazing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run it through five more times each. And then we'll come back and check this out again. Okay, I ran it through five more times. Let's see how well it goes through the skin of this. Oh, wow. That's just... I, I think it's sharper than when it was new. I really do think it was sharper than when it was new. Wow. That's just, uh, that's just amazing. So yeah, I'll be keeping this. I was going to sell it on eBay because they're going for like 20 bucks. These ones here. This one here. They're going for like 20 bucks. I was like, yeah, you know, I'll sell mine for 15, but no, I think I'll keep it. Yeah, this is purely amazing. So that three stage, I'll bet you it goes even finer. It doesn't tell me what grit it is. Because, you know, you start out a, at a higher or a lower grit and then you go up to a higher grit. Like if you can get up to eight, ten thousand, you know, you're really getting sharp. This is just, wow, this is amazing. You guys saw that thing struggling through that tomato. Now it's just with ease. <laughs> wow. Can't get over that. Dang. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I don't know, apparently you can't buy these ones, this particular one anymore, but like I said, they're still making the newer ones. They're kind of rounded here and rounded in the center and then rounded on the edges. And they do have a three stage. I'd really like to try the new three stage. But if you can pick up, I'm sure the newer ones are even better um, than this one, you know, because this is, it is older. It's an older technology one, but... So if you're looking for a good knife sharpener, there you go. I mean, this is, you know what? I don't know if this can, I don't know if this will go through it or not. It won't get all the way up the blade, but let me try something here. I know this thing. Oh, here. I know this thing is, this thing is super dull. See, it's ripping it. This knife is super dull. It says you can cut, use it on sport knives, you know, like um, fillet knives. I'm gonna try it on here, at least if I can get some of the blade sharp. Um, that'd be cool, because this I've, I've never sharpened this knife since I've had it, and I got it used, so. I'm gonna run this knife through here. Um, I'm gonna go 10 times each. Let's see what happens with it. Okay, so I did get it to go clear up to there. See the edge? I'm good with that. Let's see how sharp it is now. Oh, wow. Big difference. Still need some work, but a lot better. Much better. And 
and also remember this blade is a lot thicker um, but for you know what all oh yeah yeah it's fine not bad a lot sharper than it was amazing I mean yeah I like it that's a yeah that's a good that's a good one there I'm definitely keeping this one uh, no doubt about it it's just amazing so I can't cut straight but if I could you get the idea very nice all right guys so there you go that is the presto ever sharp electric knife sharpener like I said they do still make them it's just just looks different and I'm sure the stones are probably better in them than what this was I'm guessing this is uh, maybe mid 2000s early to mid 2000s would be my guess um, but yeah so you know especially the three stage I think would even be better but what I'd like to do is I'd like to get one this thing was there we go I'd like to get one and put it to the test up against this one that might happen in the future anyway guys thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, it's Thursday so we got the weekend coming up y'all be safe uh, enjoy life and hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. That's coming up too. Not long now. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.